I'm Alexis. If y'all like what y'all hear, you can follow me at Her Black Hand. Her Black Hand. Um, this poem does not have a title. Untitled shit. Um, it's new shit. New shit! Uh, I hope y'all like it. At 20, I was a teacher. The youngest in the building claiming to be the adult in the room trying because they needed me. And I had no clue where to start. But I knew that every time they smiled, I emptied everything I had in my heart. And sometimes my lunchbox was heavier than my work bag. My grocery list looked like I had five of my own. From chips to cookies, I even got them hooked on pistachios. I built a home for my kids for eight hours in a day. Gave them a place of solace when every other entrance in the building felt like hell. And I was finally the auntie, the teacher they called mama, making me remember the teachers that felt like mama sometimes seeing me more than my own. And I can't wait to love someone enough to mother my own. Spent my entire life surrounded by women whose entire identity was motherhood. And I ran from it at every turn, at every reminder to not get myself pregnant, to not end up like my own, like her own, and like her own. But I held a baby this weekend. Rewind. <laughs> and I ran from it at every turn, and at every reminder to not get myself pregnant, to not end up like my own, like her own, and like her own. But I held a baby this weekend. And she was just as precious as I imagined mine might be one day, and she just smiled. And when she smiled, the sun gave us warmth on that very chilly day. Is this what motherhood feels like? From the sidelines, it's felt like a fluctuation of heat, bright enough to warm you, hot enough to burn you. My heart tells me to tread lightly in the presence of children, but to give them all the love I can. It tells me that I'm the result of withheld love and makes me promise to love these kids wholeheartedly and never forget to hold their hands because sometimes they feel a little older than they really are. And sometimes grown-ups can't feel how small they are. Sometimes we forget that we can hold their hands in one because we gotten too caught up and figured it out to just have a little fun. My kids taught me that motherhood looks different for everyone. They ironed out my fear of becoming everything I was running away from and showed me how to place smiley face stickers on broken pieces because they were still worthy of praise. They retaught my lessons and told me to lean in and stop running away. I wish that I could get back into the classroom, a place where dreams stayed dreams and never considered taking nightmares form. Because now, at 21, I can't believe they put me in charge. I can't believe that one day I'll have bedrooms built like classrooms building a home of my own. Thank you.